Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. Today I am going to be introducing you to my summer collection. Before I get into all the goodies, I wanted to talk first about the properties of Cork. It is listed in, in the description box of every listing I have for the covers, but I want to do a brief overview here with you. So Cork is an amazing product. The reason I like it so much is because of its sustainability. When it's harvested from the tree, the tree is not cut down or hurt in any way. It's just harvested from the tree and then after some time the tree regrows the bark and then it's harvested again. The awesome things about Cork are that they are scratch proof. So you can scratch this, you can throw it in your bag, um, you don't have to worry about it. There's not going to be any tears or anything like that in this. Um, like I just said, it's tear proof. So like you can really maneuver it. Um, it's interesting that when I am sewing it, sometimes if I make a mistake and I back out of the stitch, you can't even see where I poked the hole. Um, it's almost like it doesn't regrow back, obviously, but it's almost so... Um, resilient that it it doesn't close but you can't see it it's interesting um, so it's scratch proof tear proof uh, it's actually fire retardant and it's water resistant so you could wipe these down sanitize them do anything you anything like that to them if you spill on them you can wipe it that's one of the beauties I think of cork uh, I was always when I uh, owned leather covers I was always so hesitant with them I was always um, cautious I didn't want them to scratch that's just me I know that uh, a lot of people love to see the leather wear but if you are into like a pristine looking cover if you like the cover to look the same now as it did two years ago cork is for you the other thing that I have included in the cover is this inside felt the inside felt gives it um, a thicker appearance even though it is this is an extremely lightweight product um, it gives it some thickness and some I would say structure but this felt is made out of a hundred percent recycled plastic bottles so I am really excited that I found it I am I love how it feels it's not scratchy in any way it's just it makes the the cover feel substantial so um, I do have on each cover an elastic closure and then there's an add-on in the shop that you can add on the uh, elastics here for inserts. The elastics are as seen. This is how I do it. You get two elastics and you can piggyback if you want to your two inserts off of those elastics. This particular cover is the avocado on the outside with the olive elastic and then sadly this is the golden meadow pocket that i no longer carry uh, it was limited and then this is the olive felt on the inside with olive elastics on the inside so that is one of my uh, standard tn i shouldn't say it's a tn it's a hybrid so I'm so excited to share with you my summer collection. Let's just go from right to left. This right here is a new pattern. This is called Cool Breeze. It has awesome, awesome colors in here, more jewel tone colors. So you're gonna go with like the green, the teal, a purple. Um, it pairs really nicely with the olive. It also pairs really well with the brown. So I have it on my website is pairing with the olive. So if you ever want to change your base color, you can do that in the notes section and I'll walk you through how to do that later. But this is called Cool Breeze. You can get this in spine, you can get this in front pocket, or you can get this in inside pockets. The next one is called Paradise. It is vibrant and rich and it goes really nicely with the black just because of this black background. It would also pair really nicely with the Midnight Blue. I'm gonna see if I have a Midnight Blue sample. Here we go. Here is a Midnight Blue TN. It is not much different than the black, if you see there. But it has this, um, this flower. Most of the flowers have this dark blue color in them, so it could go with the Midnight as well. I just have it paired with the shade, just because, which is the black cork. You can also get this in spine, front pocket, and inside pocket. And this is called Paradise. 
The next one I have is called Primrose. I have paired it with the new cork color, which is called Lagoon. It is a lovely dark teal blue green color. Primrose has some pinks and oranges and that same Lagoon color in it. I would think that you could pair this with Midnight if you um, didn't like the Lagoon and wanted a richer look. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the berry with it, but it does have the similar tones. I just feel like it's so similar in color, but I could see how people would like this. Um, I wonder how it would go with the brown looks really nice too. It gives it more of an earthy look. So this goes with a lot of different ones, but I have it on the website paired with Lagoon. You can get it in the spine. So like so, if I can, there we go. You can get it in the spine, you can get it in a front pocket or inside pocket. So those are the three main patterns that I have for the summer. The next thing I wanted to show you is the two limited patterns. Now these patterns are strictly for inside pockets only but I wanted to share with you what it looks good with. So this one, first one is called Fall and it looks great with berry. It looks great with avocado and branch. It has some dark blue in there, so you could even pair it with Midnight. These little starbursts of flowers are blue, so um, you could pair it with Midnight. But that is called Fall, and again, it's on the inside pockets only. The other one I have in this cover, which is called Summer Garden. I love this pattern. I really wish that um, I could get this in large quantities, but I can't. I have it in my TN. This is the wheat color. And then this is how the fall comes to. It's an inside pocket. You can, this is paired with the olive felt on the inside. And then I have the Summer Garden. Summer Garden also looks really good with Midnight. It looks really good with Lagoon. It looks really good with Branch. I'm not gonna lie, it looks good with all of them. It looks great with the avocado and the berry. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could do any color with this one and be satisfied. And also, I mean, it's an inside pocket, so um, you can pretty much pair it with anything. and It'll look really, really nice. So this uh, summer garden looks really good with the olive on the inside just because it's olive. But it also, I feel like ochre is a very neutral tone. So it would look really nice with that if you wanted the ochre felt on the inside. Um, I do have, um, let's see, the cream. So this is cream. I know I really haven't shown these much, so I thought maybe I could do that. And then I have black as well. And here is black. And then where's the olive right there? So these are your four felt colors, um, neutral as you can get, and that's how I like it. The new color is this one right here. It is like a dark teal, I would say, like a blue-green color. Um, it is called Lagoon, and you can get this in a tin, or you can also uh, get this in a folio. I have contrast stitching just because I wanted to see what it looked like, but I'm not a fan. I will be only using the black stitching for Lagoon. And then um, this one has olive on the inside and then it has the um, cool breeze on the inside pockets, but I will strictly just be using the black. I wanted to just try to see what it looked like with the contrast stitching. I have bloom on my inside pocket with, like I said, the uh, ochre felt and that is what I am using at the moment. I slide my stickers into this front pocket and then I have like bits and paper, bits and bobs in here. This is just a craft folder that I got off of Amazon and then uh, this is the journal cover that Robin made for me uh, from Journal Rhapsody on Instagram. I can leave her in the description box. And yeah, and then I have my little journal warrior. That's what I call him. He guards my journal for me. And I also, I've been asked a lot on Instagram where I got this uh, wood 
like medallion type situation. I got it from a friend. Her name is Fee. I can also list her Instagram in the description box because honestly, it's amazing. But um, I'm interested in possibly making some of these. So leave me a comment if you would be interested in seeing something like this with my art on it to slide onto your cover. So that is my summer collection. I am so excited about it. I hope you guys like it. I am going to move on to showing you next my stickers and then I will move on to sharing with you how to order because some things get a little tricky when you're adding inside pockets and all that kind of stuff. So the next thing that I wanted to show you is my stickers. I based the whole collection off of this uh, sketch and so I have not only a sticker sheet this sticker sheet has seven stickers it's all of these so these five and some are doubled so I just picked two of my favorites so the monstera is doubled and the spider plant is doubled and um, this is in on my website this is vinyl so it's waterproof it's also um, it's dishwasher safe to an extent and they're just high quality stickers. Uh, this is also my three inch sticker that I have available. It is the Monstera houseplant and then this one which is the spider houseplant. Um, I did put this sticker on my cup. I have had these stickers. Now this one I have had on my water bottle since I've gotten it. And there's not much of wear. This one, I actually put this one on my water bottle because it was defected. So I uh, went ahead and kept it. And the only thing that I say is, um, I don't know, a problem is sometimes dirt gets caught on here because it is raised from your bottle. Um, these aren't mine. This is not mine. This is not mine. They're, these are from Studio Katie. But this one's mine and it is going strong. This is from last year sometime. And then this is the brand new one that I put on this year. So I'm excited uh, to see how those wear. Like I said, that um, this one, which is called Succulent in my shop, it it's very similar to this collection. You could totally purchase it if you wanted to have like a set. Um, but this one has been on there for years I, from when I first started making stickers. So two years ago, and it's, it's looking really nice. That is my whole summer collection. Now I'm gonna walk you through how to order. Okay, so here we are on my website. We're gonna scroll down and you wanna click on the new category. The new category is going to take you to everything new on my website. So you see the stickers, the sheet. I have the Lagoon Traveler's Notebook, the Lagoon Folio, and then all the patterns, um, the new patterns. Now, I don't have new pictures for these patterns, but they are to come. If you notice, Primrose, if you see like this type of picture on the Primrose, that is the spine. And then if you see the other picture with the um, paired cork base color, that is the pocket. So Cool Breeze Pocket has the same similar thing. And then here you are with the two spines. So just keep that in mind. Those will be updated within the next week. I want to show you how to order a patterned spine or pocket. So I'm just choosing the spine right now. And I want to show you how to add things to your cart to make it a hybrid. I want to show you how to change the pattern on the inside pockets so that way you can make it a fun pocket. And then I also want to show you how to change your cork base color to a different color. So Paradise Spine Cork Cover. I'm going to make it a passport. I'm going to make the inside felt black and the elastic black. Now I just want to run through the details down here. It is very informative, so you can check these out, but it kind of just goes over what you're getting. So obviously this photo needs to be updated. Here you're getting a spine designed court cover with paradise as the pattern and black as the base color. Now down here, these are really nice um, clickable links. You can add a pin loop. For the first link, you can make it a hybrid, which I would like to show you how to do, and then you can add a pattern pocket on the inside. Okay, so I'm gonna add this to cart. Now this is for a folio cork cover. If you are wanting to add any kind of fun pockets, so I'm gonna click that link down there 
to your cover, it has to be a folio. And it says in this listing, this is for the inside fun pockets, you must first have a folio cover in your cart before purchasing this. Now we have the Paradise in our cart. So that is what I want to scroll and click on, passport size, and I'm gonna add to cart. Let's see, actually I wanted to go up here and view my cart because I have the passport folio, I have a fun pocket, and then I also wanted to add some strings to make it a hybrid. So I am going to click the hybrid link, the strings link. I wanna make sure that I have black and I'm gonna add that to cart and I'm going to view my cart. In my cart, I have strings, I have the pattern inside pocket, and I have paradise spine. Okay, so I've just made a paradise folio, and it's gonna have the spine detail with some hybrid strings and the paradise pockets on the inside. Now, I, I really don't like the shade color, so what I'm going to put in the note section is replace shade with midnight. Midnight is that dark blue color and I just think personally that I wanted to um, put that in there for fun. So now I have that note section. Now when I hit check out, what's gonna happen is I enter all my information but this note is not going to be in on my invoice for some reason. I've been hearing people tell me that. So if that um, worries you that maybe I didn't get your note, remember that at the bottom of the listings is my email address right here. So you can always email me. I am pretty good at getting back to you uh, fairly quickly. I would say easily I get back to you within 24 hours just to make sure um, that you and I have everything correct because um, these are pretty custom uh, notebooks. So yeah, I hope this helps with ordering. I hope this um, explains a little bit and I know it's a, a lot to think about and remember, but reading those descriptions help. You can always email me too. I can help walk you through it. Um, it's just the only way the website will allow me to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and looking at the summer collection and until next time, everybody, I'll see ya.